Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello, hello. Yes. Well, today is day 82. 82. Yes, I'm having a decaf. I've added, wait for it, blueberry oil. Mm. Medicine flour. I think that's what they're called. I've had this in my, I've had this blueberry oil for a while. I was just thinking whether I should add it to my tallow. Mm. Mm. Not sure. It's different. I like it. It's different. It is different. It's different. I've never had blueberry coffee before, ever. But I like it. Could I have it every day? Mm, probably not. But I like it. I love blueberries. It's actually one of my nicknames that the kids have for me. These are the things, right? These are the things we do in life. Okay, so first of all, I just want to say I'm very, 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 very proud of myself. I just want to say that out loud so that I can hear it and everyone else can hear it. That's good. Um, also, I did a very brave thing. Very brave thing. I went hunting for a photo. Now, you will have already seen it because I decided to use it as my thumbnail. Scary. Scary for me. I, I'm not the sort of person that can get in my bras and undies and take a photo before and after. I'm just... Mm -mm, that's just not going to work for me at all. What I can do is get into, you know, dare I call it Lycra <laughs> or some Elastane. Mm. Anyway, or some version of something that sticks to me. Now, I spend my life avoiding clothes like that, but I do have some leggings and a few things that I wear under. And when we went to New York, I had to have layers, right, because it, it's freezing. <laughs> um, so I do have a few things so I've just been thinking about that and I know I'm already 80 days in 82 days in today but I'm just going to do 5 days of uh, vlog vlogging and then do another 5 soon um, but I, I thought I just want to, I don't have photos so here's the thing, I did not think I could find a full body shot because <laughs> I, don't, I say to Paul don't take photos of me like that I'm a headshot person um, and even the kids, like there's very few photos around of me. But when I went looking in that treasure trove of thousands of photos that we have on iCloud, I have, we all probably have, I found one of me, we were having a family do, there was one of all the in-laws all lined up. So I thought that was nice. And I was, it was a side-on shot. So, um, and it was recent. It was last year. It was towards the beginning of last year. And I may have put on a few kilos after that photo. I'm really not sure because, as you will know, if you've been on my channel for a while, I don't weigh myself that often. Anyway, um, yeah, I could be a few, I could have been a few kilos heavier when I started Carnival because it was last year. Okay. But so then what I did is I grabbed that top um, and I put it on and I took a side sideways shot again, trying to get the same angle. And then when I did the thumbnail, I tried to make myself the same size as the other picture so that, you know, you're comparing um, properly. Anyway, I feel a lot different from one photo to the next. Um, that other photo was taken this way a few days ago. I took that photo a few days ago. So I will get um, the hubs or the sun to take a proper profile shot. And I'll also do it in some tighter clothes <laughs> um, that I will show at a later date, not now. Anyway, so I just want to say I'm very proud of myself. I That was a really good experience for me this morning. I want to whilst i'm just doing my little chit chat at the beginning as i always do as i like to do 
I sat and did all that this morning on my vibration plate. Woohoo! So let's just celebrate. Want to celebrate with me? Does anyone want to do this? Just feel free. Go woohoo! Even for you, it doesn't have to be for me. Woohoo! Woohoo! Go me! Go me! Anyway, just the realization that. Oh, I don't want to go off track too much. I was trying to work out why I bought it, actually, because I've had it for probably five years. And I was trying to work out why did I get it when I've only really just looked into lipedema in the last two and a half months, two months. Because once I started researching lipedema, I thought, you know, this compression garments, vibration plate, um, obviously swimming or exercising in water, like there's certain things that really help. And I suppose just focusing on the lymphatic system and drainage and um, like lymphedema, which I haven't talked about, lipedema and lymphedema. I don't think I have lymphedema, but I don't know. Um, an update on that, I have booked an appointment in a couple of weeks to actually get a diagnosis. Um, anyway lymphedema and the, the lymphatic system and the connective tissue and the fat cells it's a disorder and there isn't proper drainage and the more I've sort of looked into it the more I've realized that movement is so important okay and in the last couple of years my movement hasn't been great my my sister's name's Tonya Tonya and Colin they came up they drove from they live two hours two and a half hours away, something like that. It's down south they live, in a country, a town, and they drove up to bring it to me. And so, oh, I actually cried. It was such a blessing for me. Ah, we had a lovely visit. It was so good. Um, and then when they went, I grabbed that vibration plate and I was, <laughs> I had a strategy to do one minute twice a day, right? As soon as I put it on, oh, the relief I started feeling in my legs. I can't even, I can't even describe it. An hour and 10 minutes later. Now, you've got to understand, I have got my feet as close together as I can get them because intensity comes on the outside of the plate and then it sort of, it doesn't move as much as you get it in on, on the same speed, right? Obviously, you can turn the speed up. So my goal then, when I realised that one minute, it's not going to, that's not the gradient or the small steps that I need. Um, the small steps I need is keeping my feet close together. So that was all good. I just put it on. I took a photo for, for the timestamp. I took a photo when I finished for the timestamp for myself so I'd know, so I don't have to monitor it. Um, but I, in hindsight, I can go back and look and see how much time I actually spent. But I'm not trying to hit a certain mark or anything like that. I just put my feet on it right in the middle and just oh, just kept them there as long as I wanted. It ended up being an hour and 10 minutes. And then I did it after a couple of hours, I went back again. So I've got it over in front of another chair. I'm just trying to work out the routine and all the bits right now. So I just want to say this vibration plate has been a game changer for, it brings incredible relief and just the movement the movement. I'm still trying to get my head around how it affects the physiology of my body because I like to know all of that sciencey stuff. Um, but today is interesting. I actually just looked at check the timestamp and I was on there for two hours. So I was just had my feet on there and whilst I was working, right? Um, it does turn off. I'm using the pre-programmed presets right now because that's the easiest thing for me. But I was able to go to the programs of 7, 8, and 9. 7, 8, and 9 are a higher speed. And I was able to move my feet out a little bit today. And then when I wanted more jiggle, I would just move and then move back. And anyway, so, and the warmth in my knees now, I've I just got off it, came over here to do the vlog, and then I will um, edit and upload. I the warmth in my knees, it's sort of starting to fade a little bit now, five, ten minutes it's been, but the warmth in my knees was so beautiful when I hopped off it today. And that was at a higher intensity because I've moved my feet out a little bit. 
uh, and a little bit longer in one session from one hour 10 minutes to say two hours that's yeah almost double and I will do it again later today because I find that after five or six hours the last few days that's what I found then it uh, it's nice for me to get back on it again so at the moment I'm I've just been doing it twice a day but it just brings such relief whilst I'm on it and then for I don't know so many hours afterwards oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm so grateful to Tonya and Colin for bringing it up for me. I'm so grateful. Um, and I'm so grateful for the mechanism that it is to help. Because what I, it's like exercise. I know, I know that for those of you that are very mobile, you know, not, you wouldn't understand how precious it is. But if I'm really mobile, I'm, I'm in a lot of pain. And I take responsibility for that. And I know that's all my my issues and all of that stuff but I'm still I'm here and I'm I, I need to I'm, I'm I'm always I'm looking for ways of how I can do it I've got CrossFit equipment I love CrossFit I've got CrossFit equipment um but I don't feel as confident to do that I've got my own weight bar and I've got dumbbells and kettlebells I love all that I've got some dumbbells in here that I do I don't do it daily though um for my upper body but yeah I just I just need to add small baby steps small baby steps because i'll i will freak out if i set myself a goal that's too big too hard and i'll quit i've said this in many vlogs i will just keep saying because i know some people just watch one vlog and that's it so you know knowing my weaknesses is really important to me because that helps me set myself up for success not failure so i just wanted to say that i know my vibration plate is incredible i'm loving that um, it is a game changer already for me and, you know, I may do a video if, if, if it's useful um, for just some tips and pointers because there is a knack to it, that's for sure. So this is week 12, guys. I mean, I'm day 82 today. I'm doing the vlog today for 76, 77, 78, 79 and day 80. But, and this week 12, I'm just looking at my notes, looking at all my notes, week 12, next week is week 13, and you know, today's Friday, next Saturday is my 90 days done. That will be my 90 days done. And I just want to say cheers to my team. <laughs> and Emma, Emma, um, her channel, if you look down in the channels I love, hers is the first one. She's my daughter, our daughter. Um, and she's, we started this together on the 5th of February, 2024. And so she's just put a new vlog up. She hasn't done a vlog for a, a month or two and she just put a new vlog up and I'm so proud of her. She's, she was really like, mama can't eat that much beef. <laughs> when we started, she was just like, she loves vegetables, this child. So, um, Look, we, I just said to her, write your own list of what you, what you can do. Allow yourself what you need to. It's a zero-carb journey for us. Carnivore is a really cool category to fit into um, because it, can, you can, it just helps equip you. So we love that. We're not against plants or anything like that, either of us. Um, but having said that, some plants don't agree with me. And some don't agree with Emma. And, and, and some overlap and some are different. We have differences as well. And that, this journey is about that for us too. Um, so I'm, I'm just so proud of her. I've just, I, look, I, I get emotional when I, she just had some test results. So go and check it out. She's had a hair analysis done with and a heap of test results on those from prior to Carnival and now on Carnival for 80 days or I think, she may have had them done around the 75 day mark. I'm not, I'm not sure what day it was, but, um, incredible improvement. I am going to get some blood work done soon. I've made an appointment. That was my other appointment that I've made. I've made two appointments, one with the lipedema, lymphedema specialist. And the second one is with a carnivore doctor here in Perth. Um, and I'm wanting to, order some blood work so I want to get that done now I didn't get done I've got some blood work from previous years excuse me so I will compare but I did not have blood tests done like in February or January so um but I've got set I've got blood tests over a lot of years so I I will be able to see whether it's the same or different 
and I've had calcium score tests done a couple of times, two or three times, two, two, I think two times. I'm not going to get a calcium score done now, um, but the last one was a couple of years ago, I think, and then before that was about five years ago, I had a calcium score test done. So, <clears throat> and that's all during doing keto and keto ball were those tests done. Um, and my first test five years ago, I had a calcium score of 20. So I don't know if you know much about calcium scores, but I think when you get to 200 up and upwards, I think that's the, you know, where they're concerned. Mine was 20 back then at a, at a high weight. And so my doctor said to me, wow, <laughs> that's, that's a good score. Then I had it done a couple of years ago. I'd have to check the date. I'm not sure the date. And my score was zero. Which again, for someone of my weight, is interesting. Because, But I've, as I said, I've been doing keto for uh, over five years, I think. And then, and, and, and as each year has gone by, I've gotten, gone more towards that carnival, like when carnival came out and just having, finding ways to do more, less and less carbs. That sort, that's sort of been my journey. All right. So what did I eat for the five days? For five days. All right. Day 76 was Saturday. Um, and I started off with a 16 gram whipped tallow puck. I've got nearly none left. And I keep this wagyu fat that I rendered down and everything. It's, it's just not the same it's not it's just not the same animal as the previous fat, so I'm I'm just struggling a little bit with um, getting the same results. So I'm just working out what to do. That anyway. Then I had a fatty tea. Then I had another fatty tea, and I cracked the code of um, egg yolk. A whole egg yolk I find very <clears throat> astringent in the in the fatty tea because I'm having it with the Wagyu cream. So I worked out how to do it anyway. I I just use one third of an egg yolk. And it's an emulsifier. I did it because the Wagyu cream wasn't blending into the hot water for the tea. All fixed. So, so good now. Then I had some scotch um, with some fat trimmings and some brisket, which was really the only meal I had, but not the only fat I had, but the only meal I had for that day, for Saturday. And I had 125 grams of fat that day. Oh, because oh, then I had um, an 8-gram puck, another 8-gram puck, and a 16-gram puck. So the squares, two rounds and a square. Um, and so I had 125 grams of fat that day. Bizarre for me to only have one meal, even though I had more fat throughout the day. That's probably why my brain didn't freak out and it was fine. Then on Sunday, day 77, I had a fatty tea in the morning and then I spent the, a few hours making bread and making Hawaiian sweet rolls. If anyone wants the recipe, uh, you can... I'm, I'm happy to make that recipe if anyone wants it. You have to tell me down below. Or you can go to... My version is slightly different to hers, but her version is... Angel's Journey. Angel's Journey. I don't know her name. Um, Hawaiian Sweet Rolls. Angel's Journey. If you Google that, you'll get the, that recipe. If you want my version, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll make that video. But they are delicious. Absolutely delicious. Um, and it's like the egg white bread, but it's got fat added into it and a little bit of sweetener. It's the only difference is it's got some sweetener in it. Is that the only difference? No. There's xanthan gum. She uses activated yeast, but the one that's not the yeast like candida yeast, just the regular yeast. Anyway, you can go and see that recipe. Um, then I had, oh, husband bought me some pork sausages. Very clean ingredients. So I cooked those up in the Ninja Air Fryer. Love that thing. And had like sausage sandwiches. Oh, yeah, and I put my beef butter on the bread. Ah, so good. And for dinner, I had steak strips, tri-tip strips, and sausage strips. Say that fast. 
<laughs> so only had 60 grams of fat. There you go. On Sunday, Monday, day 78. Um, I had some chicken wings and some brisket and a fatty tea in the morning. That was great. And then that was at nine o'clock in the morning. And then at seven o'clock at night, I love saying this out loud because it really helps me observe me eating twice. I ate twice and it was like 10 hours apart. That's just incredible for me. Not thinking about food, not craving food, not struggling with food, not trying not to eat food. These are all the things, experiences and emotions I would feel in a day and mental, mental, I used to plan and think and oh my gosh, just it's just a thing of the past now. I actually, I've not done that for weeks and weeks. And I, I've mentioned it before. So at seven o'clock at night, then I had what I did a couple of days before Paul, or the day before, I think, Paul had bought a roast chicken. Now, he'd had a little bit of the chicken breast and that was all. So there was this whole roast chicken. I pulled all the meat off, all the fat, of course, all the skin, best part. I pulled everything off, chucked it out, chucked the rest out. I, I, I do keep chicken bones and carcasses for bone broth, but right now I've got no room in my freezer and I'm, I haven't been making bone broth. I'm having enough stock with the leftover um, juice from all the meat I'm cooking. So I'm not, um, I didn't keep that carcass, but it's a very good idea to get yourself a silicone bag and keep uh, beef bones, chicken bones. I keep them all together normally and I use them all together. Um, because I like a mixed stock. I do like chicken stock on its own. Beef stock is just a bit too beefy for me. Um, so that's just my own. Sorry, something's bothering me. All right. So I pulled all that chicken off. I cut it into thin strips. And then I cut some bacon up into thin strips. And I fried it up. Made it crispy, crunchy in the fry pan on the stove. And that's what I had for dinner. So that was 80 grams of fat on Monday. So interesting, I had two low days, 60 grams, 80 grams, oh, three. And then this day, Tuesday was day 79. I had two little round pucks of whipped tallow in the morning. And then I had, I made some smash burgers. Okay, this is what you do when you don't want to spend extra time making burgers that are beautiful and round. So what I did basically is I seasoned some mints and then just grabbed five portions and put them in five bags because it was a kilo of mints. So they were roughly 200 grams in a bag. And then I just smashed it <laughs> to make it thin because it puffs up really thick in the air fryer. I just smashed it and look, Paul loves them. I love them so quick. Like how long does it take you? to sprinkle some salt and pepper on mince, do that and then shove five, you know, divide it into five and pop it in a bag, into a baggie or however else you want to store them. Then you pull it out and literally six minutes in the Ninja air fryer on, now I've cooked it two ways. I've grill high for six minutes or bake for, I might have used the air fry as well, on 190, bake 190 I would use. 200, you could use 200, but if you cook it too fast, you're going to get it all on the outside and not as much in the middle, right? So if you like rare burgers, then cook it higher. On the bake setting, you can go up to 240, <coughs> excuse me, or is it 220? Don't quote me on that, I have to check. Each setting has a different temperature range, which is why you use the different settings. So um, the beef patty was for like 2.30, I had that, so late lunch. Then I had another beef patty and some pork belly because I, I love the fat, getting that fat from that pork belly for dinner. And I also after that, I had two Hawaiian sweet rolls and a pancake wrap. Now, how do I explain those to you? They're made of eggs. It's not a pancake, really. There was no sweetener in them. They're just made of eggs. And I'm trying... I, I, look, it was last week when I made them now, so I'd have to check the recipe. But they're amazing. Will be for tortillas. Gelatin. There was 
gelatin in it, that's what makes it more bendy, right? As soon as you add panko, uh, pork panko, you're actually going to get a stiffer version of whatever bread it is you're making. So um, uh, there was 80 grams of fat on Tuesday. Uh, so then on Wednesday, last day for this video, um, on day 80, day 80 on Wednesday, I had a fatty tea in the morning. That was the day my sister um, said, we are coming up to you with your vibration plate. Um, and so it was interesting. I had a beef patty with some pork belly and a slice of bread. I think I had that around lunchtime. And then we had a lovely visit, family visit. And um, and then I got on the vibration plate late afternoon. And then I, I cooked this pork knuckle. So my husband bought me, let me just get my pillow to hold for a second. My husband bought me a pork knuckle. Now I'll show you a picture of it. Coles, um, I've obviously done a deal with the company that cooks these and um, you can get different things. I used to buy their pork, this brand of pork belly a lot and just crisp it up in, the, in, the, in my convection oven, which is like an air fryer. But then uh, they stopped making them. Anyway, he brings home this pork knuckle. Now, it comes in a plastic bag that's sealed with all the air out. So it's sous vide. It's obviously they pop it in the bag, suck the air out, and then they um, slow cook them for so many hours. They don't tell you how many hours, but it would be a fair few. And then they sell them in a box. And so he bought one home for me. I thought that was very sweet of him. And so I thought, yes, I know what to do with this. Air fried it for 20 minutes. Man, that thing was amazing. I obviously didn't eat not even a third of it, but I cooked the whole thing, popped it on my plate, took a video, we'll show you that. And what I really did eat was I pulled, I really ate all the skin and all the fat. I tasted the, the pork. It tasted like pulled pork. That's what it tasted like, which was lovely. And then I just piled all that pork into a bag. And the next morning, Paul and I had, I did a bit of a fry up. What did I do it with? Can't remember. Anyway, I've got it written down and I took a video and that will be in the next vlog. Um, so I thought, you know, all that pork meat was great. I didn't eat that pork meat. I just ate all the pork skin, which is really nice. When you sous vide, so when you boil or sous vide or whatever um, pork skin, it doesn't, it, it doesn't ruin it at all. It, it's lovely. It becomes gelatinous. Now, if you like that texture, that's great. If you don't like that texture, you won't like it. But, oh, it was what I needed. Lots of salt. Pork loves salt. Meat loves, beef loves salt. Lots of salt. I'm just feeling a little bit cosy right now. I don't know why, but I am. Um, yes, yeah, so pork knuckle. Just checking my notes. That was a feast. And then, of course, I'm done. Like, when I eat some fat like that, I'm a happy girl. I... I just stopped thinking about food. No thinking about food. No planning the, the next meal. Nothing. As long as I've got my food prepped, I'm good. I'm good. So that is my five days of eating. I'm very excited with my side-by-side -side thumbnails right now. I have a long way to go, and I know that. But I'm not weighing myself. For those of you that are, are here, um, you will know that. For my new visitors, welcome. And I'm not weighing myself currently because I get I get very disappointed if, and I have very high expectations. So if it's not going to be what I think it should be, which I don't even know what that number is right now, but you know what? I don't know. It's probably never enough. It's just never enough. If I've only lost 10 kilos in three months, I'll be like, I, I don't want to quit or give up. And so that's why I'm not weighing myself. I'm just going by my clothes. And uh, to be honest, I'm just not thinking about it very much. My focus, what I can control is what I eat each day. That's my focus. And my movement, my mobility is a hindrance to my movement. So I just literally cannot do a lot. 
So this vibration plate in the last Wednesday, today is Friday. It's Friday, Saturday, Friday. I only got it two days ago and already some of the swelling has gone down. I feel like, like when I position my leg in certain ways as I'm getting up, it's not painful like it was. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm just believing that over days, as the days, each day goes by, there'll be more and more improvements for me um, so that I can do more movement and exercise and things like that. So how are you going? Tell me how you're going. I know I've, I've, uh, it probably feels like I've been quiet for the last week or five days or whatever. Um, I've done a lot of videoing again and haven't put videos up and like haven't finalized them. I've got two in the works right now for some ground beef recipes because I've had some mincemeat. So I've done some bacon wrapped beef dogs. <laughs> so you'll see a video for that. And then yesterday I did some crunchy beef and bacon nuggets. So you'll see a recipe for that coming up. I've, I've got other videos that I've all videoed for recipes and just haven't edit, edited them. So I will go through and check what's there for that. Um, because I found some mints. That's what I didn't tell you. I found some mints that I love, that I actually love. It. Yes, yes. That isn't $21 a kilo. It's it's ten ninety dollars $11 a kilo. And it's right here local. I just, I was thrilled the other day I saw it. Um, I went to see if I could get any good meat specials from the Farmer Jacks close to me, which I never go to. I haven't been to for over a year have, or longer. Anyway, and my daughter's Farmer Jacks is amazing. So I thought, I'm going to go to mine. Look, I couldn't find a good cut of meat that didn't look like it had been there for a while, like, you know, in the in the vacuum pack. But I saw their mints and it was ten ninety nine a kilo and I thought, and it looked nice. It actually looked nice in the packet. It looked like ninety ten. So I thought, I'd just buy one and try it. That's what I always do when I see a new one. I just buy it and try it. And I'm, most of the time I don't like it because it has a weird taste to it. I couldn't believe it. It was fantastic. They were the smash burgers. So then I got the husband to go back and get a couple more. <laughs> so, And that was the nuggets yesterday, the beef and bacon nuggets. And I've got one more that I'm going to, I'm just thinking about how I'm going to make that today. It's ground beef right now. $11 a kilo. No one's arguing with that. It's very good. So I hope you're going well. Say hi. Let me know how you're going. If there's any recipes or anything that you would like, let me know. I will do my best. I'll put it on the rotation to get my brain working, you know, get the ingredients in and make some stuff for you if you want. Um, I, I've had a request for some more Ninja Air Fry sort of, um, you know, ideas and videos. So I'm working on that now so that I can um, show you how I use my Ninja Air Fryer more. <laughs> I use it all the time. I, I know I show you, but show you times and temps and things like that. So I'm working on that um, as well. All right, I'm going to go sending you lots of love and um, I hope you're doing well. Bye.